Hi, this is Jason Killingsworth, founder of Tuna Fairweather. And part of the exciting thing about uh, doing a Kickstarter is that you get to take people along for the journey. So I wanted to do another update uh, for backers of You Died. Uh, in this box, we have the test pressings from the printer of the book. Now, this, these are not going to be finished versions of the book. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous update, these are called dummies. Uh, so they are just meant to give a sense of how the binding looks, uh, the different materials, and uh, just to give a rough sense so that we can sign off on that. And then the next step is we'll move forward to figuring out the cover and the deboss and, and getting the pressure right on stamping in the pattern and the foil and doing that. But So I haven't looked inside this box yet. Uh, it just arrived and I want to take you on that unboxing journey with me. So hope you enjoy it. And I, I wish I had like a samurai sword or something cool to open this with, but we're gonna use scissors uh, since that's what we have at hand. It would be amazing if I cut off a finger or something while I was doing this just to add extra drama to the, uh, get that out of the way, extra drama to the proceedings. So there should be three books in here. Uh, I am so excited. I've been waiting for these to arrive. So this is like some of the, the protective packaging here. Okay, so the first book that we have. So this is the size and we, we did a rounded spine, uh, which you can see it just has a nice, it kind of fits in the hand. And so this is what the, the standard edition of the book is going to look like. This is the, uh, the black cloth. Uh, it's, the type of cloth is called uh, Tasmania, uh, which, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, the, so I will say the uh, the ribbons, so the bookmark ribbon, this is not the length, this is very rough. Uh, so as you can see, um, this is the kind of paper that we'll be using, um, but there's nothing, nothing actually printed in there. It's just to give us a sense of the feel of the paper, which is really nice. It actually has a really nice uh, smooth texture to it. It's uncoated so it doesn't have that plasticky uh, synthetic feel that some art books do. Uh, however, one of the things they're going to do with the artwork is they're going to do a localized varnish over just the images themselves. So they're going to have a really nice, vivid pop to them. And it just feels really good. I'm excited to hold this in my hands uh, because this is the weight of what the final book is going to feel like in terms of the weight of it. it has a, it's probably about a, about a kilogram or 2.2 pounds so it it has some nice heft which I wanted it to have because I want this to be the authoritative Dark Souls book uh, and and the binding uh, the cloth just has a has a really nice texture to it the next one we're gonna be looking at is this is the way of white edition so it has the the white Tasmania cloth binding on it and and then they just included the long ribbon uh, just as a sample so it's gonna have a gold a bookmark ribbon on it so it has that that sense of majesty and uh, since it is it has some of those colors from the Anne Orlando kind of color template in terms of those white marbles and gold accents so this is going to be an absolutely beautiful beautiful book so that's the the prestige cover variant uh, and I know a lot of you have have ordered the light and dark bundle so you will have both of them on your bookshelf uh, showing the the duality of, of light and dark which will be which will be really really nice and these will arrive shrink wrapped so if you're worried about your way of white edition um, showing up and 
taken out of the box and it's got dust and handprints and you don't have to worry about that at all because each one of these will be, uh, will be individually shrink wrapped. And then last but definitely not least, I said three books, there are actually four um, because we have both a genuine leather edition and a so what we're what we're calling an ethical or sustainable leather edition uh, which doesn't use any animal products but gives the nice kind of shine and that and that feeling of of a leather volume uh, but we're going to to have that as another option for for buyers in the future so that is what's called sky vertex which is the type of uh, faux or sustainable leather uh, that we're going to be working with and it looks really nice uh, has that instantly has that feel of an old um, you know old classic volume because obviously leather was was such a durable material uh, for for printing for binding on uh, old books and there's you know a reason for that and this kind of has that that sense of being really durable and uh, and also just has a really nice texture to it as well it's very smooth uh, and then this is the dummy for the genuine leather uh, edition and I'm just gonna going to crack into it now just so we can take it out and get the full full glimpse of it you might notice that it is red uh, and and that's just because that's the only leather that they happen to have in the in the facility with them and so it just allowed them to save time by using what they had to hand uh, but of course this will be black uh, for the finished version of the grave lord servant edition so this is what you are going to take out of the wooden coffin uh, and it is beautiful. It's as red as the Pope's shoes. <laughs> uh, and actually looking at it now, I'm like, oh man, that blood red. I'm like, maybe we should have done a red edition. But so it's a little bit of a tease in that respect, but this will be black. Uh, and they sent a swatch of the actual genuine black leather. Uh, so. Yep, so it's the obviously the same kind of paper, uh, but and it has a really nice rounded uh, effect on the binding as it comes around. So rounded spine, and obviously we haven't gotten to the uh, the foil test yet, so there's nothing stamped into the cover in terms of the the you died and and obviously the the Anne Orlando ornament, ornamental uh, stamping. So that's, that's something that we'll see in the next uh, phase of the printing process. So these are looking really good and so we'll be in touch with our printer uh, straight away to, to make sure that they know that we're ready to move forward uh, because these volumes are absolutely beautiful and again just it's so exciting to feel the weight of this book that's been an imaginary object uh, for months and months and months and a very abstract one as we've been designing it um, so you're having to imagine what it's going to look like but now we're it's almost like getting an ultrasound scan of a baby that's on the way um, you know, you're, you're kind of seeing images of it and mock-ups of it but then as you get to the actual birth of of this uh, this creative project uh, you get to start seeing the actual physical what these things are gonna look and feel like so that is that I've gotten uh, a question from at least one backer about whether the whether the virus that's on everyone's minds um, is affecting the delivery date for you died because our printer is based in Florence which is in Italy quite close to some of the more heavily affected zones um, I'm happy to report that it's not going to affect uh, the, the pace at which we're working and it just means that instead of me being able to go over to visit in person and take my own new video footage of the process and sign off on the initial test pressings 
in person, which I was hoping to do. Uh, we'll just be doing that uh, via you know, post, just like we have with these books. And uh, I'm gonna ask them to take pictures, try to take some video, so hopefully we'll be able to share as much with you so you can actually enjoy that process with us. So it just affects my ability to travel over there to see it firsthand, but it shouldn't affect the actual production. And right now, um, the way that the schedule is laying out, it looks like we'll have the final printing and binding done uh, by the end of March. Uh, and, and so they will be shipping to us in April. So it, it remains to be seen whether we'll be able to have the shipping and then the first leg will come to us and then the second leg on to uh, backers, whether we'll be able to have it in backers' hands by the end of April. I think the more likely scenario is that it will be with backers in May, which is slightly later than the estimate that we had. But obviously because we're dealing with you know, physical objects and manufacturing, there's at certain points there aren't ways that you can actually expedite the process. It has to un to flow at you know, the the speed with which the printer is able to to produce this. And we haven't been rushing this process at all. We want to make sure it's a book that you're going to absolutely treasure and is perfect before we get it to you. So thank you for watching the video. I will get like one close close up shot of these um, the two cloth editions, the genuine leather and the sustainable leather version as well. And we'll sign off for now and we'll keep you in the loop as we have more updates. Thanks so much for watching.